entire life in the constant. I'm not sure how else it's to do. Sure is nice to know there are other people out there. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? Ain't you ever heard of sarcasm, friend? Okay, so how is it traveling with one of the great Co's? Not better? Well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. There's books about him, lots of them. All right, a couple of high notes. He was one of the first grav jump explorers, back when they had no idea of the dangers. First solo jump out of Soul System, all him. He explored all the planets in Cheyenne and settled the Kila. Plus he formed the whole Freestar Collective with Voli. So, as you can see, the names got some serious heft. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Korra to... <laughs> I don't know. Your kind words are appreciated. For my father, Korra, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Coe. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it, that's powerful stuff. And now, <laughs> I'm just getting sappy, you're a bad influence, you know that? You say the damnedest things. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Salma. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. I shouldn't be telling you this, but don't order the six prong to light. Just don't. You're safe. 
Safety is our number one priority. It's beautiful out there, isn't it? Hello, welcome to Hotel Paradiso. You may continue inside to the main desk if you need to check in for your stay, or feel free to browse the shops along the promenade. Let me know if I can answer any questions you may have, or help you in any other way. If you have business with Oliver, you'll first need to speak with Kiwi, the board's executive assistant. You'll find them if you take the elevator up to the top floor and go down the hallway. For that, you'll want to head inside, go to the main desk, and speak with Dirk. He'll be more than happy to guide you through the check-in process. Ah, oh, this is your first time here. That's exactly what it is. Paradiso prides itself on being the fanciest, most relaxing resort getaway in the galaxy. People from all over come here to bask in the sun, enjoy the all-natural beaches, explore, enjoy the local wildlife, and generally get pampered. Unfortunately, the beach is reserved for hotel guests only, and that goes for the entire planet's beaches. The Paradiso Group owns all land on Parima 2, so you must either be a resort guest or have prior authorization for any public or private beach use. But, and you didn't hear this from me, security rarely has the bandwidth to patrol outside the main resort. Enjoy your stay at Paradiso. Paradiso security is only here for your safety. Pretend we're not even here. Every day is nice around here. But I think you chorus are one of the nicest. <laughs> what a nice day, huh? I wish I had booked a stay for longer. <sighs> Another lost belonging notification in the system. When am I going to find the time? Oh dear, a guest. Dreadfully sorry you had to hear my complaint. How unprofessional of me. Hello, welcome to Paradiso. Dirk Huddleston at your service. Do you need assistance checking in for your reservation? Oh, no, no, nonsense. Just a small scheduling issue. Some of our guests have misplaced their belongings and I am responsible for finding and returning said belongings. Just one of the many services we are happy to provide here at Paradiso. Nothing to worry you about. May I continue to check you in? You're not? Perhaps you'd allow me to persuade you to reconsider? We have the finest amenities within or outside of the settled systems. If you do change your mind, or if you need anything at all, I am here to help. Ah, Parima 2 is owned independently by the Paradiso Group. We exist outside of the United Colonies and Freestar Collective, yet entertain visitors from both. The Paradiso Group is run by several board members, many of whom take residence within the resort itself. They establish the resort as a getaway for all on the most beautiful planet in the universe, and I can tell you that there were substantial monetary investments to make sure of that. For one, our hotel rooms are quite luxurious. The executive suite is especially posh, but perpetually booked. However, I must say, even the economy rooms are exceedingly pleasant. You'll find our beach relaxing, and we have several top-notch shops and dining experiences. I particularly enjoy a spot of afternoon tea from Tranquility. Of course, we also have the galaxy's only gourmet chunks. And if you're feeling adventurous, I believe the Enhance is still running a very popular Paradiso Getaway Special. Broad question, but I'll try my best. Paradiso is the premier resort destination in the known universe. This planet is as perfect as one could possibly imagine. That is, assuming pristine beaches, constant beautiful sunny weather, and fabulous resort accommodations are to your liking. Oh no, you're on vacation. I wouldn't dream of asking a guest 
or a non-guest as the case may be, to find other guests' lost belongings. But if you want to take a look at the list in the system and you happen to find anything while you're out and about, I suppose it would help me out. Please, don't feel obligated, however. Thank you again for staying with us. I feel my bank account getting drained just standing here. How much is it for a night? No, don't tell me. I hope you'll join in the fun. Hey, how's it going? You enjoying the resort? Yeah, this planet's pretty great, huh? There's a reason they named it after Paradise, right? Name's a million, by the way. I work for the resort. You can come to me if any of the other staff here gives you trouble. Anyway, unless you need something else, I should probably get back to what I was doing. Gotta solve all the resort's problems before I can enjoy the Paradise nightlife, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Well, I'm the shift manager, so I take care of my employees, so they can in turn take care of our guests. Got to make sure things run smoothly here, you know. I also used to run speed dating, but that's been put on hold. Wine tasting still going strong for the all-inclusive guests, though. Of course, at night I party like everyone else. Between you and me, this place is great for casual hookups, if you know what I mean. What are you hinting at? Is that an invitation? Cause I already have plans tonight, but we could still... <laughs> oh, you were just asking about like, in general. Uh, there's some talk about building a club, but that hasn't happened yet. So people tend to make their own nightlife. Me? I like to find that special someone and take him to the beach. Just feel the cool ocean breeze while dancing on the sand to some chill music, you know? You know what? I definitely could. We just got a major recall on our air purifiers, and neither me or any of my staff are able to get off world to pick up the replacement parts. Bits of fiber from the filters can get blown out, not only defeating the purpose of the purifiers in the first place, but they're also harmful if breathed in. Bad design all around, I'm told. But I guess this was an expense corporate shipped out on. And we're stuck with it for the time being until we can afford to replace the whole units. They told us they won't ship them here since we're in unincorporated territory outside of the UC or Freestar Collective. Too much of a risk of pirates. Too much liability, they say. Funny, it's not a problem for other companies. Anyway, that's where we are. Wow, that'd be great. You can pick up the purifier parts using this claim slip at the Unified Transport Facility at Gagarin Landing. It's a long-term storage facility where the parts are being kept. Just show the claim to the shipping manager, Akachi Rosenblum, and you'll get what we need. Thanks. You're really saving my ass. Hello there. There are so many activities I'm looking forward to doing, but I'm just having a good time relaxing. Come here for a little R&R, &R, huh? Me too. I don't think any place could be more perfect. I guess I have to admit, this resort isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. If only I could figure out the secret to that new drink. I might need to enlist outside help. All sorts of teas. Anything catch your fancy? Everything here is a little more expensive than I expected. Guess that's how they get you. We've got stuff. If you need stuff. 
<sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop in Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to ego with me. No. Ugh. You people always think that just because we're some French planet and not part of the free stars or whatever, that we're happy to ego for everything. <laughs> I wouldn't even care, honestly. But I take it out of my pay if any money's missing. So no, no discount. Why would I? I have to sell overpriced crap to rude, obnoxious tourists all day. My uncle works for the Paradiso board. When he said he could get me a job here, I expected an executive level job, not this. <sighs> but it's not all bad. I don't have to worry about getting fired, and I live in Paradiso for free. <laughs> Can I get you something, or are you going to keep asking questions about my life? Looking for a souvenir, or just forgot something at home? Someone put up Keats drawings in the staff lodging. Not sure where they came from. But I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. If the Paradiso board is busy in a meeting, you can always count on me to relay your message. We've got some. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in systems. there. Do you have an appointment? I'm afraid so, yes. Sorry, but that's just how it is with the board. They're generally very busy, so any outside parties need to book appointments in advance. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for, then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical C-level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them, because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different, and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then, nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be... Bad for business. I can't speak for anyone else, but I've got a pretty high-pressure job working as the executive assistant to the Paradiso board. You can imagine, dealing with a team of execs, trying to manage all of their schedules and their other whims. But it pays well, and they give me a nice executive suite at the hotel to live in. So, it's not all bad. Free access to all the resort's amenities after work helps, too. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. 
Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. Belong's right. Thank you. I... We don't want to compete with Neon. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, I think there's a middle ground. Maybe build up the beachfront in a boardwalk amusement park. I've had this idea to build artificial hot springs. That sort of thing. Uh. Sounds good. I'll look into what that will cost us and we can circle back around to this. I've been working on a new marketing slogan. Don't just imagine paradise. Live it in Paradiso. Hello. I didn't realize Kiwi was letting people in here. You're lucky I'm not like the other board members, lazing about the beaches without a care in the universe. We, the Paradiso group, bought the rights to this planet years ago with the intent of turning it into the biggest and best resort in the universe. To that end, I'd say we've succeeded. As such, no other leisure enterprises may operate on the planet without renting land from us. But as you can see, none can afford such a deal. <laughs> Not quite. We just don't answer to the Free Star Collective or the United Colonies. Makes things easier. We don't pay any taxes. We don't need to follow their laws. All the benefits, none of the drawbacks. And no one minds, because half the politicians and other big shots love vacationing here. Works for everyone. No, of course not. There's several more. We're just the ones who show up day to day. The others spend their time lazing on the beach, gallivanting off-world. Doesn't bother me, though. Less cooks in the kitchen means I get to make all the big decisions around here. Seems to be working out for us just fine. I am. And you must be the... diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given the circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> We've run a premier resort getaway here. <laughs> we can't have our guests concocting stories about some budgy old ship hanging around up there. As it is, we've had to reroute our luxury liners around the other side of the planet on entry so no one sees it. <laughs> it's bad for business. We need to nip this in the bud and take care of it before the tourists catch on and cause a scene. You'd be surprised what people fall for. Locally sourced island fruit essences, for instance. It's just the same old fruits brought over from Earth ages ago, but we get nearly ten times a market for them. But you're right, no one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So, tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship, besides scaring people away? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. 
Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with, and how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC, partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grave drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. I'm not suggesting anything. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract. For room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> and which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain? They'd be hard pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. I have no idea, because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. But it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. Oh, who would do such a thing? We better be talking super duper hypothetically here. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech? He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200 year old ship with a modern grav drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return, though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck! There's a lot of land out there for the taking. It'll be hard. Talk to anyone in list. But it'll be theirs. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. What's not to love about this planet? I'm sorry. Should I know you? Oh, 
One of these days, I'd love to experience this room. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope this day is a blessing. Just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible. I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Yes, of course! Anything for my new friend. Some may say I'm a master of keeping things together with nothing but duct tape and bubble gum. Well, if we had any gum left. Pretty sure that ran out a hundred years ago. When I'm not dealing with catastrophic engine failures, I manage the other engineers. We maintain all the machinery, computers, you name it. We keep the life support on. And the ship flying. Ah, great question. I do not know for sure, but I can venture a guess. All of the reading I've done on the matter suggests that at the time, there was uncertainty that the technology would ever work, or if it did, that it would work at the scale we needed. So, I trust they made the decision to strike out when they did, fully believing it was the only way. Many years ago, when I was a junior engineer, the reactor's computer burned out. The computer that controls the reactor's various regulators. I'll spare you the details, but when that happens, the ship and everyone on it is in danger of turning into a mess of hot slag. I had to jury-rig parts from old media devices to prevent a meltdown. 
And that's how I became the boss around here. Yes! So many! Does everyone have their own spaceships like you? Do people only live on naturally habitable planets, or did they learn to terraform? Are we in contact with alien species? I have so many more, but I don't want to take up all your time. Disappointing, but not unexpected. When you showed up, I tried to tell the others about the Fermi Paradox. I suggested that the most likely explanation for you was that humanity had developed faster, more advanced technology and had leapfrogged us. Seems I was right. Hmm, I'm not surprised. The amount of energy it would take to terraform an entire planet seems improbable. I can assume these types of colonies are strictly for mining and gathering rare resources since there are nearly limitless habitable planets to choose from out there. Haha! <laughs> I knew it! Incredible! Amazing! Simply amazing! In our ancestors' time, only the very wealthy could afford to build ships. Even this ship was only possible by our families pulling together nearly all of their financial resources. Ah, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I can have a bit of a big personality, I'm told. So let me know if I ever get on your nerves. So long! Sure. I'd like that very much. You haven't asked me to do that in a long time. And... Will you do funny voices for the characters? Like you used to when I was little? You just try and stop me. A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. 